Okay, so we're in video four, and it's time to talk about security. Um, the idea of SQL injections is something that has plagued uh, MySQL and, and its um, clones for a long time. And the idea is that you do not want somebody to be able to put JavaScript in here. Um, you don't want somebody to be able to come in here and write PHP um, DB query um, delete you know you know or anything like that you don't want them to be able to come in here and just write a raw query and pass it to your database and so because what's coming in here is going in your database you need to think really hard about what you know what's happening there and so what we're doing is we have a method in our classes called input get and I kind of want to show you what what's going on here. So let's just say, um, let's try to write something malicious. Let's just say we'll, we'll go back to what we were writing before. So let's say um, PHP uh, DB query delete star from users. Okay. So let's say that somebody wanted to be slick and wanted to make this their message that they were sending. That would be a really bad idea if the database just saw this information. And so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and play around and just see what happens here. So if you were to um let's do this. So let's if not empty uh post and you'll we're getting this part from telling it that down here that this method is post so if not empty post then what I wanted to do is to dump dar underscore post and what this is going to do is give us a pre-formatted thing of what's going on what's what's being posted to the database and so we're probably gonna, I'm going to save this because I think we're going to use it a couple times so if I were to come in here and paste this thing in here and send the message then what's happening is right now this thing is seeing that there's a raw string and just it's PHP delete star from users and that is a very bad idea and you'll see that there's this other thing that was being generated and that's the token and um, so what's going on here is when this page is loaded you'll see that at the very very top or no I'm sorry in the form itself there's this thing that says input hidden token generate. And what happens is every single time this page is loaded, a new unique code that basically looks like this is generated. And so in the event that somebody else was trying to change the page and they reloaded the page in the background, they would not have the same token that you have. They would get a new one. In fact, if I refresh the page, um, we're going to go and refresh the page. Let's see here and I generate and I try to submit again you'll see the last one ended with three and this one ends with CD and so the idea is that this if somebody were to refresh the page behind your back they would have a different token than you do and they would mismatch and we'll show you a little bit more about that later but what we're really concerned about is the idea of somebody just being able to pass this kind of stuff straight into your um, into your database so what we have is we have a, a feature that sanitizes this data sanitizing is a way of, of basically putting the information in the database in a way that it will not harm the database or the person who views it on the other side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, let's just say message my hands are really cold I'm in Alaska if you guys don't know uh, input get message okay and I think that I called this message down here so the message, oh, message body. So that's why we do that. Um, so message equals input get message body. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dump this instead. Okay. And so before I load the page, I'm going to, since I've copied a bunch of things, I'm going to take this same raw query and we're going to refresh the page. And now I'm going to paste that in there. Yeah, that doesn't look very good. I'm going to, I don't know if there's any formatting going on there, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy it this way so it's all raw text. I'll delete that out of there. So let's come in here and let's refresh the page one more time. All right, now we'll, we'll neaten it up a little bit. 
Okay, so now this is what we're trying to put in the database. And you'll see that what's happening here is instead of showing, instead of just putting raw information in here, that PHP was what they call escaped. And so you're not passing this raw information in there. You are changing, you're changing this bracket to this end ampersand LT and you're you're changing this closing one to ampersand GT and all this kind of stuff and so this is just complete gibberish the database would would not know what to do with this information and it's all been escaped out of there so that there's really nothing malicious that could happen in your database and so it's really important like you might be used to doing something like in fact we'll just do it this way so we're gonna dump message this way and then we're going to dump um, uh, post message okay so now you're gonna see side by side the difference between using input get and using post so we're gonna we're gonna copy this make sure we have the same exact text I'm gonna refresh the page and I'm going to paste that and submit and so let's see here. What did I do here? Undefined index message. Okay, so I should have put message body. You guys saw that. Sure, you're screaming at the thing. So um, my hands are so cold. I need to get some gloves or something on here. Okay, so save this and refresh the page again. Let's see. What did I do that time? So you're going to see all the bugs. All right, dump post message body. Do you guys see a problem with that? I don't see a problem with that. Um, let's try it the other way around, see if I'm missing something here. Oh, I'm outside the if post. There we go. Okay, so let me X this here. I'm gonna, and now we're going to dump it this way. So we're going to dump the original post this way, and then we're going to dump the... Uh, the sanitized version. Let's try that. So now I've got to get in here and get my. All right, we'll do it again. Okay. So now I've got this thing. I'm going to save it just in case we need it again. And we're going to post. And you'll see that the raw one at the top is just passing in the thing here. And then this one here is, for one thing, it's getting all, it's picking up the formatting, which is nice. But it's also sanitizing this and getting rid of this raw data here so that you're not causing mischief inside your database and you're not causing mischief when you're outputting it from your database. So security is super important in this and I wanted you to see the difference and understand how it works and now we're going to really create the message.